Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC Fan Flights, and we are here with Patrick Crossdale. How you doing? That's the best way to say it, right? Crowsdale, Crossdale, Crowsdale. Yeah, whatever. So we're at my new local field. This is the Cobb County Radio Control Club uh, in Cobb County, Georgia. And Patrick, uh, you guys might not know, but now you will, flew the L39 for me so I could <laughs> film it uh, for the product video. So this guy loves his scale jets. Any real scale planes, right? You're yeah, not I'm you're a not a sport guy. I like scale stuff. Anything that looks and flies like the real thing, I like it. Yeah, because this guy also does fly the real thing in real life. So you fly <laughs> some Hercs from time to time over mm -hmm. at Dobbins from Dobbins? Yep, Dobbins Air Reserve Base, yeah. There it is. So today he brought out his Blue Angels A4. It's a gorgeous looking bird, and I'm also gonna cut in some clips. Uh, Steve Hodges got a chance to fly his at Nephi um, with Captain Mike, and I was gonna cut him in between because anytime you see the Blue Angels, it it always looks great, regardless of the bird you put it on. But I was talking to you during the flight. You mm -hmm. said to you, the uh, the Blue Angels are A4s, right? It's true. Uh, I flew, or uh, my first time I saw the A4s was probably back in 1983 or 84 and they were still the Blue Angel uh, A4 models, and they've always just been that look to me. Even though the F-18s are, are a beautiful jet to have in that paint scheme, I think the A4 just really represents to me what makes the Blue Angels special. Yeah, yeah. Now, would you, could you give us a little hint? Because people are always afraid to, you know, to customize these things, just to paint them up. What do you use? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of guys are much better at this than I am. Uh, I am a rattle can guy. I, if it's not coming out of a spray can, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so, for me, this base um, was just the regular gray A4 and uh, just a, quite, uh, a quick cleanup on it. And then I did uh, Liquitex, which is a water-based... Um, um, Liquitex is, uh, what do you call it? Latex. Latex, latex paint, gotcha. yes. So it's a water-based latex paint and it really adheres well to the model. And um, uh, once I did that as a base, I used Cali Graphics, of course. Oh, who doesn't? Uh, for the Blue Angels, all the yellow is all her, so anything that you see that, um, that's yellow in the airplane, uh, that's her product. Uh, and she, of course, she does a fantastic job with that stuff. Uh, once I did her graphics, I then did just foil tape. So uh, go down to Home Depot or any of your box stores, and they have that uh, foil foam or light tape for, what do you call it, ducting material. Yeah. And I stuck that on the leading edge just to give it a little something more, a little pop, um, and then did a clear coat on top of that. Now the clear coat mm -hmm. is what, Miniwax? It's like a uh, polyurethane. Polyurethane. Yeah, it's a water spray or your spray. No, Again, just another spray. Just to spray. Like I said, rattle can is my friend. I like to <laughs> just, hit, just hit it. Definitely. Now, when you spray, even with the water base, because mm -hmm. uh, you can't be too close, right? Because will the water base still eat at the foam if you're too close? No, I've never had it eat at the foam. In fact, what I found with the clear coat for a water base is that if you get too far, it doesn't lay very even. even. It kind of gives it a speckled look, and then it doesn't give it a nice high gloss shine. So I stay about 12 inches away to give it a little bit more solid coat, and it does require a few more passes, but uh, it gives it a, a fairly nice sheen on the, uh, uh, the finished product. And why number four? You asked for number four? Um, it's just I, your number? I asked for number four because typically number four is the slot pilot and it's notoriously uh, the, the hardest position to fly and I've always had a lot of respect for those guys. Oh wow, yeah. and number four. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Looks gorgeous. And we flew it twice, so we're gonna cut to those uh, <laughs> takeoffs and flights now. Patrick, again, thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for showing face. And guys, you'll be seeing more of Patrick and us from the Cobb County RC Control Club, because a lot of these guys are gonna be flying a lot of the new jets that we have coming out. See you soon. All right. And what would the jet pilot be calling out before he Right here, the uh, the Blue Angels. First, they'd be getting ready for their uh, their their callouts for the smoke. So he'd say, "Smoke on, ready now, ready roll," and they'd start moving their powers up. Airplane ready to rock. Oh wow! Here, up. Flap up. I'm gonna roll into low rates. Keep this airplane nice and stable. So when you're low rate, what's your deflection about? Seventy. Uh, I have to look at the the controller again. I don't remember quite offhand. Vertical at the end of the field, a couple of rolls. We should roll with it real big. 
Let it drop back down. And you're not making when you when you get up to the top, you just let it go. Again. You just let it fall to the yep. earth and then correct. Yep. Here we can do a roll to the top. This airplane's got so much authority. Roll to the top and loop. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The same kind of thing here. I'm just kind of relaxing the controls, letting the airplane drop back down. And I'll ease back in with the power. Push it in hard. Let the nose drop. Let that speed build so I can go vertical. And the top of that vertical, I'll go idle power. Let's roll it here at the top. Roll, roll, roll. Nice. Drop back down. Let's do a reverse element. So we'll go vertical first. With a 45, roll it over. Let That's the airplane drop back. That's my favorite move. That's a nice one. Nice Here we and can simple. use the power. Yeah. Use the power back in. We'll do a little tuck under turn. So we'll tuck under. Turn it back. We'll go idle power and let the airplane kind of slowly descend. And right about here, I'll ease back in towards full power. Towards the trees. Can you go out and give me a high speed pass from that direction one more time? From the left? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because the sun is so perfect that way. Yeah. You really get that blue popping. Yeah, so we'll come back this way. Oh, I see the silver shining. Love it. Power in. Just the wind kind of pushing around. Wind, this yeah. this airplane, I don't have a gyro in, but it would actually probably help this little airplane. So do another, do another uh, four point here. Just go up with the nose. One. Do one more vertical towards the middle of the field. Come back down. Try to do that gear extension again there. So I go to high raise for it because I know I'm going to be a little slower. And as I set up for the final approach here, I set up on final. I'll go gear switch, power up, and roll. Nice. Gear comes out quick on this, though. It right? does, yeah. You'd have to slow it down a bit to yeah. make it truly scale. So I'm going to go 50% flaps now. Now I'm going to go 100% flaps. A little bit of a crosswind I can feel, so let's carry some speed. The A4 is touchy for the wind. She's light. You see it moving around a bit there. Oh, there she is. <laughs> a little bit of wind, a little bit of crazy for me there. I got it. Well, you're good. You can roll off the runway. Oh, she looks gorgeous, Patrick. Appreciate it. I enjoy it. A4, guys. MotionRC.com, of course.